You know, Halloween Resurrection really isn't that great of a horror film, but you know what? Resurrection, that is now premiering on Shudder. How do I think that one fared? Well, stick around and find out. Margaret's life is in order. She is capable, disciplined, and successful. Everything is under control until David returns. That is carrying with him the horrors of Margaret's past. The film stars Rebecca Hall, Tim Roth, Grace Kaufman, Michael Esper, Angela Wong Carbon, Josh Drennan, Rosemary Howard, and Winston Brown, and was directed by Andrew Siemens. So going into Resurrection, I did actually watch a couple reviews before I actually went into this movie, and I really was kind of thinking to myself, this seems like it would be a pretty good movie. Rebecca Hall was in it. She was in another film that I really liked a couple years ago called The Night House, and she did an awesome job on that film. So I was really excited to see what she would do in this film. So she plays a character named Margaret. She is a businesswoman. She has a daughter named Abby, and she's about to go off to college. She's kind of successful, but at the same time, you can tell that she has some scars in her past. She is at a work meeting, and she spots somebody that she used to know from her past. And this sparks a lot of different kind of personality disorders within her. And you can really see her really unraveling and you get to learn a lot about her trauma that she faces. You really see that her mind is really going elsewhere. She's putting on a really good performance, a very believable performance. And she's really doing things that are really irrational. Her daughter is 18 years old and she doesn't want her daughter going out or hanging out with friends. She wants to control her because she's so really fearful of her life and she's kind of digging up all the past that she's had and it's just very difficult for her to really function as a person as soon as she sees this guy. The colors in the film are very low in saturation. It really matches up with how Margaret's character is really feeling and you get this sense that she's just going to make a really big false move or she's going to do something really drastic because she's really spiraling out of control after she sees this man. When you get to the end of this film and a lot of stuff is really revealed, I really don't want to talk too much about what happens in this film because, you know, it'll definitely be giving away too much of the film. But when you get to this end and you get to see that all is revealed, I can tell you that some people will look at this film and they'll be like, hmm. I don't know if I really believe that. I don't know if this is really going on. And other people will be like, wow, this is shocking. With those different reactions, I was talking about this film to my wife. She didn't watch this film with me, but after describing this film to her and telling her what actually happened, she gave me a little bit more different perspective about this film, and it made me think a little bit more. I think this film, it really kind of tuggles more so in the psychological drama with a really small dash of horror. There's not really any kind of real scary moments in the film. I would say maybe there's like a small little dash of horror. It's not going for any jump scares or anything like that. But you're really just watching a character really just kind of unfold and just lose their mind and... You know, they really have a hard time just gripping what is reality and what is fake. And when you have somebody that really messed you up in your past and you have to confront them again, you get those feelings all back again. And that's what she is experiencing in this film. It makes you go crazy. You just do things that you just shouldn't be doing and you don't even really realize it and you hurt the ones around you. And that's really what's happening in this film. A few things that I would have improved about this film is there certain scenes in here that kind of depict certain actions and some foreshadowing that's going to happen in the film that you're going to later find out about this character. And I wish they had a little bit more of that. I think that would have been a little bit more to progress the story a little bit. And then the ending. The ending, it's sort of solved, but at the same time, it's not solved all the way. So if they could have done a little bit differently with the ending and tweaked it just a little bit, I probably would have given this a little bit better score. I do think, though, in the film, it does have some tension-filled kind of moments, and I think that you have a little bit of cross between different genres here. And I think that if you really like psychological drama, kind of head case kind of films, I think that you would enjoy this film. I'm going to give a score of this film a 3.5 out of 5. Let me know in the comments, what did you guys think about this film? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Is it something that you've even heard of before? Or are you willing to check this film out after watching my review? But thank you guys for watching this review, and I will see you guys on my next review.